Hello. In this video, I want to show how we can generate test cases from a comma separated value file. Now, this is the Kyle Microvision IDE, and inside I've created a, a project for an SDM32 F429, and I've got a, a number of source files that I've written, and the one that I'm particularly interested in and I want to unit test is the mems.c. Inside that file, we can see we have this static function gyroscope draw background, which takes uh, an input, a local state, and depending on that state, it's going to call a number of different switches here. So that's the function I want to test. All right, so first of all, let's, uh, let's go into TB Run. And inside TB Run, we can see we've already analyzed the code. I've created a sequence and I've isolated the function that I want to test. Since I've isolated it, I can stub, if I wanted, the other functions, but in fact, they're not actually used. But there's some further functions from other files, and these I've stubbed so that I'll be able to, to give them different behavior. So first of all, let's go and create a test case for this gyroscope draw background. So create new test case, and I'm going to accept the default here. And I've got a, a pointer to a, a, a uint8. I'm going to set that to null. I'm pretty sure that's not used, so we'll continue here. And another pointer. So again, I'll set that to null. And now we can see I've got a number of inputs. Well, let's test the first one. So the first one will be a, a local state of value one. In fact, type, we don't really care. Width, we don't really care. So we'll give those one and we'll give state one as well. And we take a look at the, the source code, then we should see with a case of, of one, then we're expecting the uh, back color here to be color red. So let's ensure that it gets that particular value. So we'll go back into TB run, and I'm going to modify the stubs. So here we've got the set back color, and I want to ensure, first of all, that this gets invoked exactly once. And then I'm also going to check the parameters on entry. It's going to get this particular value here, color red. Right, so that looks okay. So let's go and put a description in. So let's say this is local state equal to, to one. Right, so let's run this. This is now going to generate a harness. It's built it using the, the Kyle compiler, and it's now currently running it on my target that I've got connected to my PC. And as we can see, the test has, has passed. So that's good. Let's click OK on this. And we should now be able to, to take a look and we should actually get some, some coverage. So we'll be able to see what coverage we've obtained from that single test. So just wait for that to, to finish the processing. OK, it's generating a test manager report. And now we should be able to see that we have some, some coverage. And, and there we can see we now have, have coverage. So let's see what coverage we've got. Let's take a look at this function. Let's view a flow graph, and that'll give us a graphical representation of that function. And we'll be able to see with this test case exactly what parts of the code we exercised. And here we can see we exercised case equal to, to one. So I need to create test cases for all these other cases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a comma separate value file to put all the values in. So first of all, I'm going to go and export this test case. I'm going to export the sequence. I'm going to have already exported it. We'll just overwrite that. OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify that particular file. So I've previously done that. And what I've done is I found the test cases inside here and I copied them into this particular file. And everywhere where we had a, a description, what I've put is I've put a, a placeholder to say, I want to get the description from the first column inside my comma separate value file. And we can see local state. I want that from the second one. We can see height, I'm setting that to a fixed value. So all these are set to a fixed value. And if we come down, we can see we have state. I want to get that from the third column. We've got some stubs here. And in this particular case, 
I want to get the actual colour from the fifth column and the hit count, I want to get that from colour four. So there we have a what we call a test case template. And then using Excel, I've created a comma separated value file. So the first column is the function I want to test. The second is the description. The third is the value of local state. The fourth is the value of state. The fifth is the hit count for the function BSP LCD set back color. And the final one is the actual color. And so here we can see I've entered the values that I'm expecting. So that looks good. Let's now go back into, uh, into here. And I've got a batch file that's going to basically take the comma separate value file, take the test case template, and it's created a test case file with 10 test cases in there. So now we've got this test case file, I should be able to actually go and execute this. So first of all, let's get rid of this test case. Let's delete it. And now I'm going to go and import the test cases that were created from that batch file. So let's import that. OK, and there we can see we now have 10 test case cases with the appropriate description. And for each time we can see the appropriate inputs and outputs. And also if we click on the stubs, we should be able to see that we're checking a particular color here and also the hit count. So that's good. Let's now go and run this. So once more, that's generated a harness. It built it using the Kyle compiler and it's now executing it on the target. We should be able to get the data back from the target. It'll analyze that and we should see that test cases pass. If they fail, well, we could take a look at the regression port and find out why they failed. So it's quite a few test cases. So it's taking a little bit of time to run. But there we can see, most importantly, all the tests have passed. So with these inputs, there are no outputs. And so that's why we're testing to make sure the stubs are executed or they're not executed. And if they are executed, then we're checking the value that again passed to them. So once more, we'll just wait for it to finish analyzing and then we'll be able to take a look and see, hopefully we'll have 100% coverage for this particular function. And there we can see that the test has completed and we've now got 100% statement coverage and branch decision coverage. Let's take a look at one of these test cases and let's take a look at a regression report. So there we have the regression report and at the moment I pointed to test case seven. So that's the one we're looking at. We can see the description up here. We can see the inputs. We've got the stub hits here. So we hit all these particular stubs and we should also be able to, to check here that the color in this particular case was the color orange. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRE. Thank you.